Okay, good morning and welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial. I'm using the new version 6.0. Um, not much of a difference between 5 as far as I can see. Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, go to File. We're going to go to New, New Design. And then what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys how to create using these points. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and click that point right there. It's in, it's in between your spline and uh, underneath your spline. So we're going to go ahead and click there. The well, first thing I want to do is make sure you make sure your snap to grids are on. Grid is on. So we're going to go ahead and click there. Click there in the middle. Okay, now we have a point in the middle there. So now I'm going to go pull. And we're going to click on that point. Now you're going to see that the arrow is going up. So the only option we have here is to pull up. But we, I want to pull this way. So we're going to go ahead and come over here to the pull direction. And we're going to click that green arrow, the Y. And okay, now it's changed this way. So now we want to pull this this way. So we'll give it a distance. We could say 20. Okay, so we'll click off of that. Now we don't have to continue continually use the points. We can just use the point that's there. So you just have to click on the corner on the end there, and then go ahead and go pull, and then do the uh, right here pull direction. Now I want it to go this way. So now we can pull another one out from here. So we'll do uh, two two do twenty again. Well, actually, let's do half that. Let's do ten. Okay. So now I want to do the same thing. I want to pull this up. So we'll go ahead and click, drag a marker on that. Um, we'll go and hold, click that pull direction. We'll go back to the blue. Just want to do that end part. Now we'll click and drag that up. Let's just do six or six. That'll be good. Okay. So now you see where we're going here with this. Now you have a shape like this. And then you could keep moving with that uh, as long as you select the end point. And then you could go ahead and go pull. And you could change direction. Use that arrow. We want to go this way. Now it doesn't matter if it's going like that. You could pull it either way. So we could pull this this way. Let's go 20. Okay. Now we can go do the same thing here. We want to change the direction, so we'll use this line here, this uh, direction, pull direction tool. We want to go down, so we'll go ahead and pull this down. Let's go to six. Okay, now we want to select that. Then we want to change the pull direction. We're going to go to the red. Now we want to drag that in. Let's put seven there. Okay, now I want to go do the change direction. And we want to go to the green. And we want to go ahead and pull that one down. So now we have this, let's do 20 there. I think it was 20. Okay, so now we have this, uh, this kind of a shape, interesting shape here. All right, now what we can do is come in here. Let's go ahead and get our uh, create rounded corners. So we're going to go like this and create, um, let's just say, two millimeter round on these. Two millimeters. Let's put this at two as well. Okay, so now you have this shape. So now what you can do from there is go ahead and highlight this, just the end point. Go ahead and get your circle. It's going to change to like this. Now go ahead and just create a, uh, maybe like a 1.5 millimeter circle. We'll go to pull. We'll click there until it changes to orange. We're going to come up here to the sweep. And then we're going to multiple click until everything is selected, and then we're going to do the full pull. So now you have a shape like this. So basically this was all created with a, a point 
and then just changing the different direction. So let's move that. Now you have the you have the same little shape there, so you can keep continue on with this if you wanted to, or you can get rid of that, you don't need it. So now you have this shape here. Uh, so we can go back to, let's go back to uh, top. Yeah, we'll go to top. So really easy to do. Um, start with one point up there and just change direction. So you're going to click on that point like we did and you're going to pull. Then you're going to change the direction using this tool over here. You're going to click on the red, move it this way. Then you're going to click here, click on the uh, blue, go up. Then your red to go over, um, your blue to go down, your red to go over to the right, and then your green to go this way. So as long as you put in your um, the dimensions are equal, your part's going to be equal. Um, so this could be like a, a handle to hold on to something. You can pretty much make anything. So let's go ahead and go do a new again, new design. And um, we'll start off and do something different. So we'll go click here with the point. And then we're going to go to pull. I'm going to click on that. Now we'll note the direction of the arrow. So we'll go green. It has to be clicked on. So we'll go green. Highlight it. Oh, you have to come over here. Sorry about that. I missed a step. Pull direction green and we're going to pull this way. Now you don't have to keep going back to here. Uh, as long as you, oh you do have to go here but you don't have to keep going back up here to add another different, another, a new point. You just go ahead and change direction and then do red and then you can pull from there. Come back up here, change directions, go to blue and you can pull up like this. Come over here, select pull direction. Let's do the green toward us. Like this. Now let's go change direction to the blue. We'll go up like this. And then we'll do one more change direction. We're going to go to red and then pull this way. All right, so now you have um, this shape. Now you could come in here to uh, your create rounded corners, create a little bit of a fillet. Let's do two. Let's do two millimeters on all of these. You have this shape here. Now we're going to go ahead and select that end there, drag a marquee around it. We'll get the circle. We're going to go ahead and put a circle in the center there, two millimeters. We're going to go ahead and select pull. We're going to click that area there, the circle. And then we're going to do our sweep, uh, multiple click to get everything, and then we'll do the full pull. So there you go. Easy way to do um, your shapes like this. If this is kind of the shape that you wanted to create, um, you just simply change the direction of the pull. Green direction here, red direction here, blue here. This is a green direction. This is a Z, and then you got your X. So doing things like this is going to also help you learn X, Y, and Z coordinates. Um, Okay, so I guess that's going to end today's tutorial. I just wanted to uh, show you guys how to draw something like this. This could be like a handle, and then you could uh, maybe, you know, extend on the handle from here. And this is just kind of a test shape. But what I can do is select all. I can copy that, and we can do it, paste it into here. And then I'll just have these. have those shapes on there so when I go to create a uh, YouTube screen capture I can actually do this one 
Okay, thanks for watching and hopefully you enjoyed the video and you got some useful tips out of this. Uh, this is going to be the drawing with the points. Uh, we used the um, pull and we did this one here. Changed uh, move direction of the pull. Okay, thanks for watching.